Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of mobile application development. In today's class, we are going to learn about features of Android. So Android is one of the most powerful operating system that is almost competing with the Apple related products. So coming to the best features of Android, let's see one by one, what are the features of Android? So the first one attractive feature is the beautiful user interface. So whenever you purchase a mobile phone, each and every brand or a company mobile phone will be having its unique Android version with a beautiful user interface. So uh, whenever a particular user purchases that, the first the user gets attracted to that particular user interface. So Android operating system provides a beautiful user interface uh, which is very much attractive and also easy to use by any type of user. So the second feature is connectivity. So coming to the smartphone, it uh, it supports both uh, GSM as well as edge related uh, uh, communication system where GSM stands for global system for mobile communication and uh, edge stands for enhanced data rates for GSM evolution. And it also supports IDEN, uh, CDMA. So let's see one by one, what is IDEN? IDEN is nothing but Integrated Digital Enhanced Network and CDMA Core Division Multiple Axis. And we also have EVDO that is Evolution Data Optimized. And we also have UMTS that is Universal Mobile Telecommunication Systems. And along with all these uh, communication systems, we have the most famous Bluetooth connectivity, uh, Wi-Fi wireless fidelity connectivity, LTE long-term evolution, NFC near field communication, and WiMAX, wi microwave access. All these communication systems are supported by this Android operating system. So almost all the features are integrated into the Android operating system connected devices or integrated devices. Next, coming to the storage, we need to have a data uh, database in order to store uh, what all the uh, data or the inputs given through an application or uh, the data need to be stored, right? So SQLite is one of the lightweight relational database, which are mostly or famously used for the Android operating system for data storage purposes. And coming to the media support, uh, Android OS, almost supports wide range of uh, media, like uh, we have H.263, H.264 uh, encoding techniques, MPEG-4, okay? So MPEG-4 SP or uh, we can, MPEG is considered as a moving picture ex experts group, okay? MPEG-4 formats, we have uh, AMR formats, adaptive multi-rate, and we have AMR WB adaptive multi-rate wideband, you also have uh, audio related uh, uh, coding techniques or the uh, supporting files like AAC advanced audio coding. And we also have HE uh, AAC. We also have AAC 5.1 where the, it can also support the uh, audio surround systems and the uh, uh, like uh, home theaters and all those things. We also have several formats like MP3s, GIFs, uh, graphical interchange format, okay? And we also have a MIDI, musical instrumentation, digital interface, AUG Warbies that is related to an audio compression. We have wave format, waveform audio file format, JPEG is related, JPEG, PNG, uh, GIF, BMP, like uh, all these are related to image formats. So JPEG is Joint Photographic Expert Group, PNG is portable network graphics. GAF is already we have seen graphics interchange format. BMP is in bitmap. Along with this, we have messaging uh, uh, support like uh, we can do SMS, MMS, and most of the apps nowadays are integrated with message services, right? So all this can also be integrated with the help of Android operating system. And we also have web browser supports like... Uh, Almost all open source WebKit layout engine, uh, all this like uh, Chrome, 
JavaScript related engine, HTML based, CSS3 page based, all these are supported in the Android operating system. Not only that, whatever the screen size we have and whatever the touch type we have, Android uh, can support multi-touch, like more than one number of finger can be used in order to zoom in, zoom out, or drag that particular uh, uh, file, okay? according to the user requirements. You can play with the screen, touch screen, okay, by using more number of uh, finger inputs. Now, coming to the multitasking, another feature is multitasking. Not only a single application can run, there can be a multiple application can be running at the background and also on the screen side by side, okay. So if you have a multi-screen option side by side, uh, like uh, multiple uh, actions or multiple tasks can be run at a time. So we also have an user interface like widgets. So widgets are nothing but the app related resizable, uh, resizable uh, formats. These all apps can be shrinkable to save the space. So I will be showing you, see. see. So this is how, uh, this is somewhat related to whether this is related to the calendar. We have reminders over here and we have health related and we have an uh, use or wallpaper kind of things. So all these are uh, shrink to a particular window size, which we are considering it, uh, it as widgets. Okay. Now coming to the multi-language. Okay. Android almost as it is most widely used in the in India. So Android... Uh, uh, also supports multi-language with respect to language selection and on, not only that, we can also choose a particular language through chats and all those things. All these multi-language options can also be integrated into the, uh, with the help of Android operating system. Next comes a service like Glue, uh, Google Cloud Messaging Service, okay? So this uh, will be supported by the Android devices. So without any kind of... Uh, problem or so you can directly sync your data through this particular uh, google services or the google cloud in order to store or re read the data whenever required okay and we also have a wi-fi direct connectivity through which you can uh, share or uh, uh, surveillance a particular apps or applications and coming to the android beam we have an nfc based technology where by touching two phones together, which is having NFC enabled, you can transfer the data or it, or it can be some sort of files, images or anything, okay? So this uh, option is also uh, applicable for the Android uh, operating system based. So on the whole, this will be providing Android operating system will be providing a wide range or wide varieties of options where almost any work can be done on the smart device where this android operating system exists okay so these are the best features of the android operating system or the android